With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have been given a diagram showing the transverse section of a testis in which we can see the sectional view of seminiferous tubules. Now we have to identify the parts which have been labeled A, B, C and D and select the correct option. Now we all know that the testis is the primary sex organ found in the male reproductive system of human beings. Now these are paired structures and we are referring to them as the primary sex organ because the production of the male gametes, that is the sperms, is going to take place inside these testes in a process called spermatogenesis. So inside the testes we are going to find in each oval testis there are some compartments which we are going to call the testicular lobules and inside these testicular lobules inside each lobule we are going to find two to three highly coiled structures known as the seminiferous tubules inside which spermatogenesis is going to take place so we can see these tubular structures in a transverse section over here and obviously because they are the site for spermatogenesis we are going to find different stages through which a sperm is going to pass before it develops into a mature sperm or a spermatozoan. So first of all the part which has been labeled A is a Sertoli cell. These Sertoli cells are found inside our seminiferous tubules and once the sperm has become fully differentiated, once it has become fully developed, the sperm head becomes embedded in these Sertoli cells. So A is a Sertoli cell. Then the part which has been labeled B, it is not a mature spermatozoan, but it is a germ cell or a spermatogonium, which is going to undergo repeated cell divisions, both mitotic and meiotic, to finally produce the mature sperm. So if over here, the immature cell that we can see is our spermatogonium. Next, we are going to see, now the part which has been labeled C, we can see it's not inside one of the seminiferous tubules, but it is outside. It is in the interstitial space between the seminiferous tubules. So these are the interstitial cells or the Leydig cells, which have very important endocrine function in the male reproductive system. And finally, the part which has been labeled D over here is our mature sperm or spermatozoan, which we can see inside our seminiferous tubule. So over here from among the given options we are going to select our correct answer option D because A are the Sertoli cells inside our seminiferous tubule, B is a spermatogonium which is not yet fully differentiated. It is going to undergo spermatogenesis process to develop into a spermatozoan. Part D is our mature spermatozoan whereas part C because it is not inside the seminiferous tubule because it is in the interstitial space we can identify that these are the Leydig cells or the interstitial cells. Option D is the correct answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.